Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is Disaster Campaign, the Meat Grinder, or Saving Your Disaster Campaign, rather, Meat Grinder. Today it's episode number 7, I think, so we're uh, putting quite a bit ahead, but uh, this campaign was so deeply in trouble that it'll take more than a few missions just to get it uh, back on track. We're going in with a um, uh, pretty similar team like before. The only thing that we're changing is uh, the uh, Ranger needs to uh, wait a bit because he's tired and I thought you guys might enjoy uh, some Reaper gameplay. So Bones is gonna take his place instead and we're jumping right into the action. Pretty nasty uh, retaliation mission, which we might even lose. So let's see how we're, uh, how this is going to play out. Here we are, we just landed. And it looks like we're having the support of one additional uh, resistance fighter. Is going to join us for this mission. So let's start with Dragoon here. Not sure why we can't uh, jump on top of the roof, which is kind of uh, the idea. Hmm. Strange, very strange. What we could do though is we could grapple on top of the roof just to take the high ground. And that's the first pack, which we triggered right away. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Perfect, so let's take a look. If we were to use our rocket... Yeah, it's probably not the best idea. But we do have a Grenadier, so it's not a problem all in. Moves all in. This here looks much cleaner. Removal of cover. And explosion of the car. Very nice. Worked like a charm. I wanted to show you some Reaper gameplay, and instead I'm showing you the exact opposite, which is how to pull the entirety of the map by charging in recklessly. Well, I guess there's something to learn from that as well. No, in all seriousness, um, you want to make sure that you're aggressively pushing to a limit, of course, because this here is, um, is normally uh, race against the time or race against the clock. As soon as you're no longer pushing, um, they will start executing uh, the civilians, which is, as you know, a bad idea. Moving to position. Moving into here. Perfect, there's another purifier. I'm considering throwing a mimic beacon. On my way. Yeah, we don't want to remote start ourselves. Crit chance is not high enough. We are instead going for overdrive. An efficient kill. 
Very nice. That worked like a charm. We could reach these guys over here with a rocket. That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, the rockets lately have become uh, kind of a meme. He never is able to shoot them. Let's do a couple of things. Number one, we're blocking the entrance to the rooftop. Number two, trying one last time with the rocket. Now this here is completely blocked, so... I could hit the tree, but that's pretty much it. Not the end of the world. We are... Moving in, on the high ground. I'm going to use the Mimic Beacon, as mentioned before. <clears throat> Affirmative. Covering now. This unit scanners are active. Couple of overwatch shots. Yeah, we're staying in overwatch. It's more accurate than shooting into full cover. They kindly begin to cluster up, which is of course always very much appreciated. One of the Overwatch shots has actually hit. This is a bit depressing. That's the first civilian casualty. There's another pack. With a with a sector pod somewhere out there. Okay, so I think This is a perfect opportunity to move and essentially start waiting down on this Berserker here. Shipera, by the way, is also a really nice target. Still don't want to remote start any of that. What we could do is I'll leave this here. start getting rid of the cover and be a bit um, mindful with the other explosives. <clears throat> that way we don't need to use any other explosive. Position confirmed. Moving up into full cover, opening the door. Starting to injure the Berserk. This unit is now reloading. I want to make sure we continue being fully charged. There is weak as ever. Berserk down. Understood. Moving out. Very 
nice. We continue to move in. Now, that's a perfect opportunity for demolition to remove the cover. Come on. <laughs> of course, the one time that we need it, boy, we failed. Uh, I don't want to use lightning hands because there is still a safety pod out there. We're just going to take a normal shot. I can totally live with him surviving, um, but I'm also fine with him just biting the dust. Good. So we got the pack of vipers, and we got one more pack of uh, with the sector pot. And that should be it. Plus, we do have plenty of um, potential faceless ones. Good, let's do some proper Reaper gameplay. I go where you tell me. They have a patrol moving here. There we go. That's exactly what you want to find out. Nice little explosion here, by the way. Fortunately, not what we were looking for. Good, we know that uh, the sector port is back there. Instead of mindlessly charging in and engaging right away, I would much rather like to take a couple of positions here. If this is a faceless one, we would uh, still have plenty of turns to deal with him. Same here. Oh, I see. We can't use uh, bonus units. Alright, perfect. Positioning him here, which is adjacent, so there's a moral bonus because there are bondmates. And we are moving into full Hello. cover. With a sniper, Overwatch. I don't want to stand in the open. That would be an incredibly bad choice. Moving to designated so position. Instead, we're taking full cover. Overwatch engaged. I will go. Going to lose another civilian. Gotta engage these guys very soon. Alright. That would be an important hit. Ah, unfortunately it did not hit, because we would have shredded it right away. Taking a bit of a better position, so I want to shred this guy. So it's a battle of the plates, then, is it? If you want them to die, I'll have to reload. Good. That's why we were saving up lightning hands.
Okay, so we still got some more explosives. Um, Bone takes a position up here. Go where I am needed. Just need to get him a bit further away. Could have reloaded beforehand, just a tiny mistake. But we do have plenty of arm and plenty of ammunition still left over, so it's gonna be fine. Good, and this brings us the sector pod kill, which will trigger death from above. That then again continues with almost, or in this case, not almost, killing this guy. Um, yeah, we're. Doing rather well. He's almost down, and the hundred percent shot will kill him. Plus, he won't be discovered. Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and we didn't need as many actions to kill them completely. That's the first phase is one, that's the second one somewhere here. not give him the kill because he's already I'm at max level, doesn't need any more kills. Really what we need to do is we need to get the closer and engage the team, uh, the last pack relatively soon. That will 100% kill it because we will have an advanced stock. And there is the promotion, so exactly the right decision. Yeah, we did have an autoloader, I would have Got needed to covered. reload. Shall we grab over? Well, they are right behind here, so probably not. Let's move already. On Overwatch. I am on the move. Moving up. We can engage them next turn. Good. Let's move up so that we see all of three of them. Unfortunately, can't explode them right away. But what we could do is just kill the colleagues. By the numbers. Which leaves us with two vipers, and that's pretty much it.
en laine, bon zap. Yeah, we want to make sure that this viper here goes down. There we go, very nice. I think we can go in with an overdrive. This unit is We're thinking the Viper. And this could be a kill. Well, almost. It's unfortunately still not a hit. Good copy. Moving on target. Let's put an A protocol on Dragoon. Dragoon is immune to um, to poison. A protocol triggers threat assessment. Which gives us another overview, uh, over uh, watch shot, but that was unfortunately not good enough. The only, yeah, the only enemy, oh, uh, the only unit that uh, the Viper could see was our spark. So naturally, that shouldn't have been enough to reach uh, the other units. And the spark is immune if it's poison, so it really doesn't matter. I could have used the Mimic Beacon, but whatever. Alright, can't even see this guy with our snipers. Perfect opportunity. I'm on the move. Copy that. Uh, that was a misclick, unfortunately. I was about to say that's a perfect opportunity for letting them come a bit closer. Nah, we can just move to here and grapple onto the rooftop the next time. Alright. Phase 1 begins to move in. They never go for the um, civilians. If they can, they're going to try to reach you. So who are we going to donate the kill to? Probably Sonar here. Just to get another promotion. Target disabled. Menace one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Well, that was rather easy. Good. Let's take a look. Did we get any promotions? Yes. All in, our Grenadier got promoted, and yeah, we're going to take heavy ordnance uh, for an extra grenade. Very good. You have done an outstanding job leading the research. Additional supplies. Soldier bond is available. Okay, we're going to do that. Oh, the an upgrade for the bond. That would be nice. Can we? A 
operate them. Yes, we can. And we can continue removing negative traits. Good, let's continue with the ammunition there. And very soon I think we're going to reduce the Avatar project just a tiny bit further. It affects the decryption for 45 Intel is perfect. We did not get a new breakthrough. Oh, we get, uh, got one. Improved swords, that's perfect. More melee damage for rangers is never something to pass on. We got a gas bomb. Well, not the worst. Plus we got our bond uh, to level 2. The other bond can now be trained to level 2 as well. It's pretty good. The two soldiers we sent to the training center have developed an even stronger bond. If we yeah, continue so to send them let's... together in the field, their effectiveness will only grow. Avenger plotting new course. Nah, let's not take these supplies. Because in seven days we're going to, uh, in nine days we're going to get new supplies. Instead, let's continue making contact. Now we don't have enough intel. Oh, we do have enough intel, we just don't have enough contacts. Yeah, I need to figure that out uh, with a little bit more time in uh, my hand. I unfortunately do have an appointment now. So we're going to end uh, the series today here, not with uh, uh, in the middle of a mission. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to the channel and, and or leave a nice little comment. Thanks and have a great day, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.